Hi guys, welcome back to PJ's. Today we're going to look at the carburetor base plate and this is just a few tips for you to keep in mind when installing your carburetor base plate. Guys, the parts that we're buying these days are not the 100% genuine parts we used to get former years. So you're going to have to help this base plate to help you to create a 100% seal between the carb and the manifold. So my advice is always use a bit of fuel resistance sealer between the base plate and the manifold and that is the Victor Ryan's um, uh, sealer. That is the product that I'm referring to, uh, Victor Ryan's sealer and um, it has worked for me very effectively on, on my carb base plates. Now just to make an example, I put Victor Ryan's on my base plate and the manifold about a year ago and when I tried to take it off after a year, I struggled to take it off because the seal was so secure and look there, even the rubber is still attached. Even the exposure to fuel did not break down or melt the Victor Ryan sealer. You could also use this um, product which is like a cardboardy papery type of um, substance which is used to make a gasket you could use uh, this on your carb base plate you could cut it out accordingly and place it over the base plate and then seal it down between the manifold and the base plate I've not had much um, experience with this but it is also another option after you put your sealer onto the base plate, now it comes for the time to tighten these little bolts. Please be very careful with these bolts, you can break them if you over tighten. And also be careful, you can damage the base plate. And also these four long bolts running through the carb into the base plate. Please ensure that you don't over tighten that because if you do, you can tear the base plate. Okay, after you've put on your carburetor and now you're putting on your airbox, make sure that you don't over tighten this nut here because if you do, you'll be pulling this airbox forward, which has an effect on the carb base plate. You'll be lifting up, literally lifting up the carb, and that can also cause your air leak. Okay guys, there you go, there are some tips on the carb base plate, just ensure you put it on very carefully and uh, keep those tips in mind. Thanks for watching.